Hey folks, this is Luke with Flat Earth Consequences. I wanted to talk about something a little different today. Most of the videos that I've put out have been directed at the people who have already experienced the Flat Earth paradigm shift to some degree. But this particular video I really wanted to dedicate to a slightly different group and that's the people who are watching this who actually have never really been introduced to the subject and, and I wanted them to ask themselves a question it's like this <clears throat> a lot of people when they're introduced to this subject they find themselves inclined to mock or ridicule the subject and this is indicated by the comments that end up underneath of a lot of these the videos on this topic you know people seem to have an emotional response to this subject that they don't have with other topics that they disagree with. If I was presenting my viewpoint on the best way to handle deforestation or the best way to handle you know emissions from vehicles or any number of things it, it would really end up kinda like a court case I would say well you know if you look at A, B, C, and D it makes sense that this follows and my conclusion would be what I would be trying to persuade the audience to recognize and, and accept and then somebody who was opposing me would simply say well that's neat except we disagree with premise one and two and we have this other information we'd like to uh, introduce and our conclusion is this slightly different than yours and they would be trying to refute my claim with theirs blah 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 this is how a debate actually goes this is how court works out but it wouldn't have to be emotional I wouldn't find people on the other side of the table going you're an idiot man did you go to school what's wrong with you but this subject causes those emotional responses they come out of people constantly and and so the reason I'm bringing this up is because before a person posts a hostile or an insulting or a demeaning comment, ask yourself first, why are you having an emotional response to this subject? It doesn't require one, right? It isn't like somebody is attacking you personally. Ah, but maybe the programming on this is so deep it is causing an emotional reaction and that is my point on this matter is that a highly emotional response that is charged and hostile when it really is a little bit out of place might indicate deeper programming think about that if you find yourself getting riled up when people start talking about how the earth is not a globe and how science teaches that there are satellites in orbit but the evidence would prove or suggest something contrary people have a strong aversion to accepting that the moon landing was a lie and they never really respond to the key points that people produce when they say well look at for example the moon landing you have a vertical thrust rocket that landed on what Neil Armstrong said was a powdery surface and yet there's no indication of the slightest disturbance of that soil you would have a bigger uh, indicator of a blast if you lit a firecracker on the moon there's nothing underneath of that lander and there's no dust on the landing gear and not to mention that the rover would never fit in the compartment that it was supposedly in and there's a ton of stuff but it's just people will cling to their beliefs and reject evidence that contradicts them emotionally and that's what I'm talking about with this subject people leave hostile comments in in a all caps rage freaking out about somebody just saying hey look what we did and look at what we discovered and you need to think about this too does this make sense but people respond with hostility so if you find yourself emotionally charged on this subject I'm simply saying ask yourself first why you care so much 
What's the big deal? Why would you insult somebody's intelligence? Why would you leave a comment that is so condescending? These people actually believe what they do for a reason. And if you are not programmed, then you should be able to look at the evidence objectively and weigh it and not dismiss evidence just because you don't like where it's going. Don't put uh, an overly uh, um, inappropriate amount of focus on some minor detail, you know, and skip the big picture. Look at the look at the whole puzzle. It's actually pretty impressive. The flat earth community has assembled a lot of information that is strong, really strong. And then you combine this with all of the evidence that would indicate that the ones who taught us everything we learned in school are lying. They're fabricating evidence. Go to my playlist and look at the frauds playlist. It's one after another of things that anybody who's intellectually honest would have to evaluate objectively and then ask themselves, well, why would they lie about that? If it's true that they're doing spacewalks, why would they lie and do a, do a green screen? If they're really up there in the space station doing spacewalks, why are there bubbles coming out of their helmets, which is indicative of being filmed underwater at the buoyancy lab, and then being green screened and CGI'd to life before they release it and say, look, we were out in space walking around in our spacesuits. There's a, so much fraud. So between the evidence that doesn't add up and the fact that the authorities are frauds, is it really such a stretch to just consider the fact that Maybe there's something to this without calling people names, without insulting people's intelligence. You know, there are people who lose their mind when you tell them that there's something wrong with what happened on 9-11. You're unpatriotic if you think anything other than the official story, which was that bin Laden was in a cave in Afghanistan with a laptop and he outsmarted the entire, uh, you know, air defense system on North America. Give me a break, man. You know, oh, two buildings not got... Two planes knock down three buildings. That doesn't raise a flag. That doesn't ring a bell and make you go, wait a minute. If it doesn't, there's something wrong with you. I'm not telling anyone what they need to believe. But I am telling people, you need to analyze why you believe what you believe. And don't attack somebody just for showing you evidence that would suggest that maybe what you've been taught is not true. And if you believe everything that the government tells you, then you're already looking at the wrong video because, you know, just, just go, uh, go prepare for the election and believe in the system, whatever. But as far as this flat earth thing goes, why does it provoke such an emotional response? It's because of the lifelong programming that everybody has been subjected to. Think about that. When you see something and you want to go, ha, these guys are kooks because they're really not. Now, not everybody's got all their marbles, right? Not everybody who puts out a video on this is really sharp and really conveys the information in, in a, a nice, coherent manner, but a lot of them do, and a lot of it's compelling. So anyway, I'm Luke, Flat Earth Consequences. Think it over before you leave hostile comments. Check out my frauds playlist. Check out my proofs playlist. You'll see there's a lot of information out there. So anyway, have a great night. Talk to you later.